Well, everything is nicely prepared. Let's start the execution. First of all, I'm supposed to heat up the solid, so, and I'm going to test and withdraw several portions of gases evolved here into my another test tube that's filled with lime water. So, when you use lime water, we can tell that you are actually testing for the presence of CO2. So, I'm going to put this here. Let me light up my Bunsen burner. We've drawn several portions of gases, bubble it through the lime water. Make sure that your tip pipette goes through the lime water. Heat some more. Press, release, go in. You count about three times, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Take out, put through here, bubble again. Heat some more. Put your TP pad in, count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, take up again, bubble through the lime water. Squeeze the gas out, put through, count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, pull it out, bubble through. You have to repeat this entire thing for several minutes. So let's be patient. Slowly you will see that the lime water will give a white precipitate. Slight white precipitate is observed, we can stop the entire experiment and let's move on to the second part. Record your observation. Well, we can see over this portion here, there are white drop, water droplets form at the side of the test tube. So I will write down water droplets form. At the side of the test tube. White solid still remains as white. White PPT is observed in the lime water. And they say, suggest identity for other products formed in this decomposition process. The products formed is water and carbon dioxide. Let's move on. They say, allow the glass, hard glass test tube to cool completely while you're waiting. Continue with test B and C. So, I'm supposed to turn the Bunsen burner to give a blue flame. Moisture the end of the wooden splint with water and dip this into sample solid X. And place this end in the Bunsen burner. And I can see over here that an orange flame is observed. So let me write down the observation. An orangey flame is observed. Using a smaller tube of a spatula, transfer a small amount of solid X into a test tube and add to this about 2 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid. So this is my part C. I have solid X inside here. Now, whenever we add hydrochloric acid, there's a high chance that a gas is evolved. Theoretically, the two possible gases is hydrogen gas or carbon dioxide. So I add some lime water here to prepare to test for carbon dioxide before I add my HCl to it. So now let me add the HCl to it. Very quickly, bubbles is evolved. Let me quickly insert this. I 
I can add some more acid to this. I can see over here that solid X dissolved inside in the acid, giving a clear solution. Bubbles is evolved. Bubbles evolve cause this the lime water to give a white precipitate. Solid X is still dissolving in HCl. Giving a clear solution. Let's move on to part D. Part D says that to the cold hard glass test tube from part A, add about 2 to 3 cm cube of the still water. Let me add the still water to it. And we're stirring. Until all the residue is dissolved, add more distilled water until the test tube is about three quarter full. Follow the marking all the way three quarter full. I'm supposed to add about 2 cm cube of white to it. Let me pour directly following the marking. And I'm going to add 2 cm cube of barium chloride solution. Upon adding 2 cm cube of barium chloride, white PPT is observed. And according to the QA notes here, if white PPT is observed, sulfate is present. Now, let me add some more. They say add another 2 cm of HCl. Upon adding HCl, white PPT dissolves, giving a clear solution. Bubbles is observed as well. White PPT dissolves, giving a clear solution. Next part says to about 2 cm cube of Y. Add about 2 cm cube of copper sulfate solution. This is copper sulfate solution. Another 2 cm cube. Observation of copper 2 sulfate solution. Blue PPT is observed. Observation upon heating. I heat, I can see that the blue PPT has changed and slowly become a black solid. A black precipitate is forming and upon heating further, they say heat until no further change is seen. Blue PPT has changed to a dark black precipitate. Observation on heating. Blue PPT has changed to a dark black solid. Two cm cube of Y. Bubbles are observed. Effervescent is seen. Effervescence given off. Well, the, we have come to the last portion, part E, where you have to suggest the end ion present in solid X and in solution Y. Now, in solid X, in the previous part, we can see that upon heating solid X, gas evolved actually turned lime water chalky. It gives a white precipitate. And upon heating, it will become solution Y. So there are two portions of it, and they keep on giving carbon dioxide. So what exactly is X? is actually hydrogen carbonate. 
So hydrogen carbonate upon heating, it decomposes to become a carbonate. So when you add water and it becomes solution Y, solution Y will become your carbonate. So what is the correct anion present in X? is hydrogen carbonate and Y is actually carbonate. That is why when you keep on adding acid to the different portion of your experiment, you notice that CO2 keep on appearing. So X is actually hydrogen carbonate and upon heating decomposes to become carbonate and when you add water to it, it becomes a solution of carbonate. Thank you.